a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. What a body kick. Effective punch there by Brunson. Throws the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go. Nice body kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, wow! Head kick! Big knee there to the chest. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Brunson. There's no give on that leg kick. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Nice entry into the finish directly. Brunson's back in full mount. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, brutal knee to the body. So, under 30 seconds to go in what has been a pretty entertaining and active first round. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Round two is upon us. Your thoughts on round one, Chad? Round one was a very close round. Both guys had their moments, but nobody has really out of his race as we go into the second round. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's had a big knee to the body. We'll see if he can follow up. He is getting lit up right now, John. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. An uppercut lead it. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Brilliant submission defense there. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Big body kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh! Holy smokes! He's done, he's done! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent